Here in Holberry, we are about to fight Nessa, the water gym leader. And here we are at the Holberry uh, Municipal Pond. We are seeing some wonderful aracudas swimming on top of the surface here. I'm wondering if, if we could fish a little bit, if we could catch one. This isn't the time to use that. Fair enough. But it is the time to take on the gym leader. So let's, uh, right. Of course, there's going to be a gym challenge. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, you're not, that's not the uniform. <gasps> uniform! I forgot to wear my uniform last time. All right, guys. Uh, maybe that's why I had such a hard time beating the gym. I wasn't dressed properly. Well, since she's not in her uniform, she's just wearing her, her beach clothes. We're not going to put on our uniform yet. But once we're in the confines of Nessa, we'll be... We'll be prepared. Let's just say that much. Oh, Clefairy wants to learn Moonblast. That is a very powerful attack. Well, here we are. Here is the audience. Here's the beautiful Nessa. There it is, the uniform. Gosh, what am I doing? All right, time to put on the uniform. You never seen a man wear pink before? What are you? Oh, look who's back for the peep show. Yeah, yeah, keep moving. Yeah, let's do this. Now, and only now, can we have a successful battle. Goldeen, freeze that fish in a. Okay, that didn't work. Flamethrower will not work. Let's try Ghost Move. It's okay. Moonblast is super powerful. Let's do Moonblast. Please, 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 please. Oh, this is going to be tough. Is this G G Gigantamax Dreadnought? Yeah, because it's standing on two feet. It doesn't have a red outline, though, but this is Gigantamax, so use your imagination here. This Dreadnought is 50 feet tall. It's as high as the stadium ceiling, and the crowd's going wild! <laughs> Dreadnought use Max Quake? Come on. We're not going to- we're not going to faint again in this save file. Come on, 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 come on. I don't want to teach Clefairy a grass or an electric move. Um, hopefully, hopefully we could pull this off. Um, we are struggling much more than I thought we would. And we're only at the beginning of the game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shockwave, power 60. Thunder, power 110. I'm such a fool. I should have potioned. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, she used a potion too. Okay, that's fair. That's fair, Nessa. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Take, take him out. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! I don't have anger issues. I don't. I just need a second <laughs> to take it all in. It was the jersey. It was the jersey. That's why we won. It was the jersey. Seeing all those water Pokemon made me hungry for some seafood. 
Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Packed with that flavor, those juices. Mm. The fairy, you better stay in the Pokeball now. All right, all right, be good. The fairy, stay in the Pokeball. Mm -mm. No, no. If you're hungry, we got your kibble right here. Oh, come on. This stuff is good. Let me get your dish, alright? All those juices, back to that flavor. Clefairy! Ugh, I feel so accomplished. That was tough. Is there a way we could look at our badges? Oh, that's slick. I wish they would come up in color, but that's all right. Oh, those aren't even the right badges. Those don't look right. All right, so I ate in real life. I think it's time for my video game character version to also eat. And it looks like there's a few people here that we recognize. Here we have... Olina? Oliana? Don't know how to pronounce that. We have Sonia, which is um, an assistant for Professor Magnolia of the Gala region. And here is Chairman Rose. Now, who is Chairman Rose? Chairman Rose is the richest man in the Galar region. Billionaire. Top 1% folk. Am I recording? I'm recording, right? Okay, as I was saying, I was recording, and just, it looked weird on my computer. Chairman Rose is in the top 1%, okay? Very rich. Now, how did he get his wealth? Well, there's a phenomenon occurring in the Galar region, where there are um, pillars of energy shooting from the earth, and... Uh, Chairman Rose here found a way to commodify that in two ways. One, he is taking this energy and turning Galar into a green energy region. Okay? He's, he's, he's reusing this energy to power the Galar region. And also, number two, this energy can be um, used by Pokemon to Dynamax or Gigantamax. So that's what was going on in the first two gym matches where uh, um, gym leaders Pokemon, for some reason Clefairy can't do it in this game. I, I looked into that and I, I just don't think it's programmed into the game. Um, the gym leaders Pokemon are using this energy that's naturally occurring in the Galar region to... Uh, grow to ginormous sizes 200 300 feet in height and chairman rose here is the leader or the uh uh presidents of the entertainment districts the, the league um that revolves around uh the gyms so so this guy is rich Okay, um, and here we are at a seafood restaurant, and now I have the opportunity to have dinner with him. And this is kind of like that, would you rather question? Would you rather have $1,000 or have a dinner with an influential person that you might look up to, right? It's a good would you rather question. And in this case, I have chosen not the $1,000, but to sit down for an hour, hour and a half, with Chairman Rose. 
the billionaire Chairman Rose. Because I recognize the opportunity in that. Give a man a fishing pole and he'll never ask you for a fish. All righty. He's gone. Oh, the game. What? Well, that build up and he disappeared. What the? Sonia? Sonia? Alina, please. Alina, do not disappear. Um. Okay, I guess it's just me. Uh. Hello? Whoa, what the? Rose, venia vamos celebrar su victoria, boss. I'm speaking to nobody. I'm speaking to thin air. That's how rich this guy is. He can do that. You know what? Um... Because of the language barrier, because people in the Galar region speak Larian, uh, ham vejo que ya se consiem otimo sentem se. My pronunciation is probably excellent. Um, I think my character made the wrong decision. I think he should have taken the $1,000 because we're not going to gain much from this opportunity. But that's fair, at least at least we got to witness three people disappear midair. Um, but they're still present with us, maybe in another dimension speaking to us. I mean very cool. Can't get that experience for one thousand dollars. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Gather mine. Gather mine once more. Uh, hello, Bead. Please tell me your Solicis hasn't evolved. Okay, we're good. I'm going to figure out the name. I can't remember the name of the evolution for Solicis. I'm going to look that up quick. Rioniclus. Yeah, oh, okay. But it looks like it will become a... Asian before it's a real necklace. Yeah, which I'm not I'm not too afraid of this thing neither. It doesn't have giant arms quite yet. Right, B, let's see what you got. Oh, yeah, of course. You got this. Uh Galarian Ponyta. It's real cute, buddy. Well, I should talk. Okay, so um we are being blocked here by Team Yell. It looks like Hop is joining us. Um, they're speaking Glarian. Uh, is this going to be a double battle? No, I don't know why Hop is here. He really should help me out in this situation. But um, Team Yell is is the the rival, not rival, like the evil team of this region. And they're trying to stop all of us and our paths to become the champion because, um, like I said, I we have three rivals. We have Bede, who we just saw. We have Hop, who is here not helping. And then there's Marnie. And Team Yell wants Marnie to win the championship. So they're going to do anything they can to stop us in our paths. Ooh, a Persian. That's a beautiful animal. And maybe I don't need Hop's help. Um, I'm in Motostoke. Wait, yes, I want to be in Motostoke. Okay. Where in Motostoke am I? I don't recognize. Wow! This thing's a. I can't catch it. I can only use Clefairy. <sighs> oh, it's been a long day already. Before we take on the third gym, Kabu, Motostoke gym. I think we should stop here. Hotel Bodu. And get a good night's rest. Uh-oh. 
I knew that was coming. It's Marnie, the third rival I've been mentioning. Now this is going to be our first battle against Marnie. I love this Pokemon. More Pekko? If I find a wild more Pekko, I might just have to catch one. Oh, 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 okay, okay, oh, oh, yeah, 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 oh, shh, shh, Okay, um, just me and you, Clefairy. Yes, yes, of course, of course. So quiet now. Can we knock out, can we knock out Kabu in this episode? I think we should. Can we? Yeah. Yes. Um. No, no. Yes. Yes, let's do Kabu. To catch them is my real tale. Oh, wow. Um, what am I missing here? Do I have to catch these Alolan Marowax? I, I, I can't, I cannot catch. Ooh, Charmeleon. I cannot catch Pokemon. Not on the watch of Clefairy. We see how she gets. I don't speak Larian, but I am seeing the word Marowak. I am seeing the word Alola. I think it's forcing us to catch one of these. Just shh, don't tell. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey, shh, 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 shh. <sighs> She's a sweetie. Just rock her to sleep. Just rock her to sleep. Yes. All right. Let's catch a Marowak. Gotcha. Bunnelby, okay. Let me through, let me through. Oh. I really should just learn this language. It's not that hard to learn a language, right? Simple. Hello, Challenger. In this gym, there are several Marowak coming from the direction of Alola. They won and get his card. You can pass. What do I do? Do I have to catch five Marowax? I'll, I'll keep catching Marowax. We're not gonna name it. We don't take kindly to anything other than my Clefairy. Okay, I got two. Can you let me through? Okay, you said something about a card. Marnie gave me a card. Well, where is it? Oh, it's held by a Pokemon. Oh, is that what the translation said? This is the card? Okay, I give it to a Marowak. What? Combine nine words or phrases to make a message? What? Pokemon? Deerling. What the heck? This isn't a puzzle, is it? Okay. Let me through, man. That worked! <laughs> of course! Of course that worked! Here we are. Here's the beautiful audience. Looks like in the front row we have members of Team Yo. Just hoping. I lose. Not so fast. All right, Kabu. That's not his name, right? Kabu? Kabu, yeah. Let's see what you got, buddy. Ah! This is a Pokemon from a nightmare. Well, Buck type would be weak to fire, right? I'm just not sure. Because fire would be strong against a bug type. But it's a fire bug. So I don't know how this works. 
we could we could try it. If that doesn't, that it, I just if only Clefairy could Dynamax in this game, we wouldn't be having this issue. I don't want to do this for every gym. But let's see if we can teach her a new move. The the story of the dynamic Clefairy. Oh, this is a water move. Able. Okay. All right, Kabu. <sighs> Take it easy on me now. That's a big ask, I understand. There we are. Do that to scent a scorch and we're in business. I don't even have the opportunity to attack. Ah, that's why I'm not wearing my uniform. I mean, this guy is wearing his uniform. Why? What am I doing? That's why I'm losing. Now. Now we have a chance. Let's do this. Yes. Take that, Team Yell. All right, guys. I can only take so much at a time. Next episode, we will be going on to Stowen side. We will be traveling. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we are. We are like all the way down in Moto Stoke, and uh, it's gonna take me a little bit to get to Stow Inside, but when we start next episode, we will be in Stow Inside and we'll be taking on Gym Leader B, the fighting type gym. Sayonara, folks, until next time. <laughs>